Uh, let's talk about very briefly what we're bringing into Crota regarding loadouts. So I have six different loadouts that are designed for the raid. One that I'm going to load into is Solar Hammer Titan. Uh, this is what I'm going to use for the Abyss. And I'm most likely just going to go Sunshot and LMG because that's just going to destroy any Thrall and then Riptide for whatever Majors do spawn. But yeah, just running a Synthosep Titan. Pretty standard. Stacking up Resist and various other things. Is it easier for me to look at it? Yeah, I guess it's easier to look this way. The only I reason I run Invigoration is in case I lose my hammer. Like so you might be wondering why I run that, but it's just in case I lose my hammer. Uh, heavy Scout, Heavy Finder, Triple Resist, and Heavy Handed is massive so that I can keep getting those orbs. So this is what I'm loading to uh, with the Abyss. Uh, when it comes to the bridge encounter, um, I'm most likely going to run something very similar, but I'm probably... If it's really close range, I can run a sword, um, but I'm probably going to switch to Regnant just because I just I love this gun. Um, this would help with ogres and knights. This would help with the thrall that spawn in and I probably keep Riptide on. I could also put on Callus Mini Tool and swap to Wither Horde. If I need to snipe things from a distance, knights snipe things across the bridge. I have Izzy. I have multiple snipers, you know, it really depends what the changes are to the encounter. It's hard for me to say what I'm actually going to use. I'm just giving you an idea. For Death Singer, I predict that Death Singer is not just going to be a pushover. I think Death Singer is actually going to be like boss health or have a lot more health. So I'm thinking maybe something like G Horn or possibly Apex Predator with bait and switch. Or I could just be a tractor guy and run up in tractor. Really depends. You know, I am going to keep a linear fusion on me for uh, crit damage if I need it. But that's what we're looking at. And then Crota, it all depends how Crota is. If taking Crota's shield down is just as it was before, I mean, G-Horn probably still going to be fantastic or any sort of rocket. There's a, there's some close range uh, encounters during Crota. So a shotgun or Riptide could be really beneficial. If Crota's damaged with weapons, like a lot of people are predicting, you know, I'll have tractor ready. It really depends. But ultimately, that's kind of what we're looking at for each um, encounter. Uh, as far as builds, I already went over the solar build with Syntheseps. I'm using Singeing, Empyrean, Solus, and Torches. This is just my huge, powerful, solar, typical Bonk Titan build. Nothing crazy. Um, I'm going to have Bubble ready, which I think might actually have a place during Crota uh, if Bubble buffs swords, but we'll see. I'm running a Heart of Inmost Light Bubble Titan with Undermining, Remnants, Leeching, Persistence. And you can quickly see over here the mods. Invigoration, Innervation, Outreach. I'm just running Heavy Ammo Scout, Heavy Ammo Finder, and pretty much everything. Impact, Momentum Transfer, Harmonic Loader, etc., etc. I'm also going to have a Arc Titan build with Curass of the Falling Star, with Bolstering Detonation, Momentum Transfer, Innervation, Insulation, Double Bomber, and in the subclass, running Resistance, Shock, Volts, and Magnitude. And then... I'm gonna have a strand build. Uh, I'm not much of a strand titan, <laughs> uh, given that I don't play as much these days, but apparently there's a new aspect that's crazy called Banner of War. If I'm just like really struggling to stay alive or something and uh, you know, nothing that solar titan can't fend for itself, but uh, fury, warding, continuity, generation, and the new Banner of War with Syntheseps. Um, and then for if I'm going to do any sort of cheeky stuff with the bridge or try to sword fly through the abyss, I have a Lion Rampants build, um, which is basically the same as the solar build, but with lions on. And then I'm also going to have a loadout down here, which is my same as my base solar build, but it takes off all the mods on the legs so that I can run triple surge during DPS. And I'm just sacrificing one of my recovery mods. So every single build is stacking 10 resilience and at least nine recovery. And then everything else is going into discipline and then strength. So, I'm, so resilience is number one priority, recovery two, discipline three, strength four. And that's pretty much how I'm prioritizing um, all of my builds. And you can see they're nice and color coordinated because chat, chat out me out with some of the shaders. What weapons am I bringing in? Heritage with recombination and reconstruction. <laughs> uh, Wither Horde. Succession with reconstruction and Vorpal. Uh, Fatebringer. Just typical Fatebringer. Izanagi's Burden, Riptide with Chill Clip, Arbalist, 
and night watch uh, i always like to have a scout on me for day one raids and i like the 200 so that's why i'm using night watch uh callus mini tool funnel web this is the new um legendary merciless if you roll it with control burst and re rewind wounds um why is it that rewind wounds is easier to say than rewind rounds <laughs> but uh yeah that gun's good sunshot is going to be a, a huge one that i'm going to use a nation of beasts i just love this gun i'm bringing in a shotgun in the energy slot this is going to be my vouch safe which will be my scout rifle in the energy slot and then we're bringing in adored as a sniper and then heavy uh tractor cannon because i'm titan uh, reconstruction and rampage commemoration regnant with explosive light and auto loading love this gun gallerhorn uh just a sword with uh eager and then we're bringing in cataclysmic just in case linears are good for like oversold or something and then i'm bringing in two rockets i'm bringing in a clown and field prep and i'm bringing in a, a bait and switch reconstruction apex predator that i crafted house me yeah there we go those are all the weapons all right video complete